Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will add another feature to this Flutter map Uber style, which is requested by this guy in the comment. And that's really a cool feature. So the old feature was we were adding the latitude and longitude for our destination location manually. And in this feature, we will choose our destination location live in the map. Let's see the demo how it works and I will show you how to implement that. So here we have our application. We can drag and drop the destination point wherever we want and it will show the live updated location in here so suppose i want to be dropped right here i will drop the pin right there and it will show me the updated location here and by pressing this button i will go to another screen which is the actual map navigation and it will show me the distance between that and the correct route and the closest route so this is what we are going to do in this video and if you have some cool suggestions and ideas like this, comment down. I will try to figure out and make a video on it. And at the end, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and show some support. And now let's see how we can implement this one. All right, to get started, first you have to come to the PubSpec YAML and add this package, which I will add in the description, then close it, come back to the main screen. So in the main screen, we will have a Google map, a text to show the address, a button to navigate to another screen, and this icon to place or choose our destination point. And to get started, first we have to declare our variables as usual. I will do that very quick. All right, these are the variables that we will require. This destination location will be the location that we are going to choose, and we are going to pass to another screen the location instance is required of course this will be a temporary variable to set the current user location then this controller used to interact with the google map itself and this address is the readable address for us now when we first come to this screen we have to get the current user location and set that as the destination location as well and then we will give the user a choice to drag the map and choose another destination but the first and initial point should be the current user location. So let's write the init state. Okay, so in the init state, you can see we have a function to get current location. And I will write this function very quick to get the current user location. All right, down here in the get current user location, I have to first ask for permission. So once the permission is granted, we get the current user location and animate the camera to that position and also assign the destination location to this current position. It will happen only once and that's when we come to this screen for the first time. And remember, we are not turning on the listener in here. We don't require that. So the main logic comes to the UI part, which we have to draw the map and then at the top of the map, we have to show the address and a floating action button to navigate to another screen and also make the map draggable and choose the location which the user has given. So I will design the UI very quick and then explain to you. All right, I've done the design. You can see here we have got a floating action button which will route to another screen. This is simple. We just pass our destination location. And now in the body, we have got a stack which the first child is the Google map, of course. And inside the Google map, we have some of the things that you have to understand. In on camera move, we have got the position, which will give us the current camera position. And using that, we can get the location or latitude and longitude that we require. So here I will check if the destination is not equals to the position or target. This target will give us the latitude and longitude. If it's not equal to that, then we can set state the destination location to the position dot target. So when we start moving our camera, it will set the current camera position to the destination location. And when the camera is idle, it means the movement of camera is stopped. Then here we have to add a function to get the address, the readable address. And down here, the rest of the logic is the same. We have created the map past the controller and also about this uh, icon that we have added. We have done, since we have got a stack here, we can use the align, which we can give the center alignment to it and pass this image with the fixed height and width. Now this will be placed in the center of the screen, which again, it will return as the current camera position, which is in the center. 
and then also we have got this position box which is the nothing but a simple text the address that we are going to convert this latitude and longitude which comes from camera into this readable address for us if the address is null then we will show this text to pick your destination location otherwise we'll show the address so let's write the function to convert this destination location latitude and longitude into the readable address for us for that we have already included this geo decoder and i will write a function using that to get the readable address so this is my function get address from latitude and longitude we have to simply call the geocoder 2.get data from coordinates we can pass the latitude and longitude in this case i have passed the destination location latitude and longitude and also you have to pass the google api key and then at the end from this data we can get the address we can also get the specific city country country code and everything but in this case i want the full address so i assign that into our address variable and then this address variable will be shown to that text that we have so the scenario is whenever the camera moves we assign the position into the destination location and whenever it stops we call this get address from latitude and longitude just to get the address and show it in this text box it doesn't have anything else for us so it only happens when the camera is idle now to pass this destination location we have this button whenever we press this floating action button it will pass the destination location latitude longitude to another screen that we have done already and everything will be fine so now our application is ready and uh, before testing i want to do some changes here in the git navigation we don't have to ask for permission again here because uh, we have already asked that in our previous screen and now we are very good now let me run the application and see how it works all right so we have got our application running in the device you can see the current address is shown here and also we have got the pointer we can move the map wherever we want and we can drop it right here and it will update the address live so let's suppose i want to go to this position this is my destination position and the address is updated if i want to press the navigate It will get my current location and the destination position which I have chosen there and it also calculates the distance between that and everything works very fine and this is how it works if you still have any problem you can comment down I will try to respond as soon as possible and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such videos in the future and thank you for watching I will see you in the next video